Okay, so it's one. Hello, 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 hello. Beautiful, exciting Aries. This is about to be a general love reading for you all. Okay, I just finished a general tarot. And let me just say, like, I do feel like I was a little biased, I think. I, now that I think about it, now that I'm kind of coming down from some of the messages, I feel like it might have been <laughs> one-sided towards a man. And that's just really wrong. But um, I hope it doesn't come across that way. But, um, okay, we're going to have to do that one again. That one too hard. These cards are kind of hard for me to shuffle. Especially since I'm already a second shuffler. But we trying today, baby. We ain't, we ain't taking no for an answer today. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's spread these out all up into them. All into each other. Y'all, I just tried that. That's new. That's something silly looking. But whatever. I want y'all to be sure that your girl just shuffle this. You know, to the best of her ability. So you won't be thinking I'm just playing around here. All right, Most High, we thank you so much for all these readers. We thank you for being present with us. Um, And we ask for the love reading for Aries. We ask for those who are born late March, early April. We ask that you would give, that you would give insight, okay, to... Their circumstances, especially to the ones who are related to, wow, I really, let me tell y'all what I want, okay, let me tell you what I want, I asked for three cards today, that's all I've been asking for is three cards, but all of these decided to show out, show out, okay, so I'm just going to read them, but I think I'm going to put them back in, because I just want three, my readings have been long, even with these three cards, all right, but I'm going to say that the cards that came out with, it said flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. The next one said pay attention to the red flags. It says the signs are cautioning you. And I don't know what that could be for, but it also said children. It says that your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you guys, some of y'all could have children. Some of you guys could be pregnant and expecting children. Or some of you guys could have blended families maybe. Okay. Um, when it comes to the pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. Uh, I feel like that could be pay attention for your children's sake. Like if you are beginning to meet somebody or something like that, or and it's someone new, just be careful because your children are very important. Okay. You don't want them to be, you don't want them to be getting hurt and stuff. All right. So yeah, as far as flirting. Lighten up. That's all I got from that. Let's go ahead and let's put these back into the deck. And Father, we ask for... I ain't got time to play. I don't have time to play. I didn't want that to be the case, but I feel like that card wants to come out again, so we're going to just go ahead and... Boop, boop. Boop, boop. We got to take it because it flew back out. So, boom. It must have wanted to be seen. All right. Mm -hmm. We will clarify, though. We will clarify though. The overall energy, guys, for you, for you, beautiful Aries, is reading right now is express your love, guys. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, I feel like with this dude, he kind of, I feel like he being kind of reserved right now. It looks as if he is interested in this woman and he cares about her or he likes her, but I feel like he could be a person in deep thought. Okay. So this could be a male energy here, but it don't have to be, it could be a woman too, but I feel like somebody is really heavily in their brain about expressing their love. Like maybe, maybe you're like that person that's kind of rigid or something like that. You're not so great with expressing yourself. And, um, so you could be really, really thinking like, geez, Louise. You know, I really care about this person, but I don't know what to do. I don't know how to show it. Da -da 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 -da. You could have this this feeling about yourself that you don't know how to show the love the way that you want to um, in a romantic way. But you know what? I have a feeling that if you just try, your woman is going to be very happy with whatever it is that you do for her. I don't know why I said that, but whatever. What, what, what? 
ever. So the first card that came out, okay, for you guys was engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, all right, all right. So for some of you Aries, y'all could be going from just dating and figuring each other out to somebody being like, okay, I'm like positive I want to be with you. Like I'm positive I want you to be my wife. Okay. So this could be, um, this could be, this is for you, for this is all y'all, man and woman. Man, you could be thinking about proposing to your woman. Woman, get ready because he about to propose. Y'all, please forgive me. I feel that I have this headache, okay? And it's like at the base of the back of my head. It could come from the fact that I've been talking a lot. And also because I got really, really, really excited in this last reading that I just did for y'all, Aries. Let me go ahead and plug these other two readings. I just finished the general tarot reading. You need to check that out. And I also finished the spiritual goddess reading. Check that out. I feel like they kind of just all flowing off of each other. But moving on, the next card that came out was give your relationship a chance. With this one, I keep hearing them say that this is even if it's a couple that's already together and you're literally already committed. Like, I feel like something bigger is about to happen. Bigger by, I don't know, like, just I feel like it could be an unexpected ascension in your relationship, okay? You could think y'all good with at this level here and that you guys are committed, but maybe there's something more that this man is about to get ready to offer you, okay? That's all I got to say about that. Now, this next card says, give your relationship a chance, and it says, work on your partnership, Okay? Um, every time I see this, I still think of the 144,000 or twin flame unions. And I really feel like this is more so talking about y'all already together, but you do need to work on how it is that you work together in this relationship. Like there could be some issues right there. All right. We're going to clarify this, but I'm feeling like there could be some issues with how you guys work together. Y'all both love each other and that's evident and you both want to be together and that's evident. But I get the vibe that you two both see things differently because she holding on to you, but she still feel like she not checking. She still feel like she ain't feeling you all the way, bruh. And I feel like it could be because y'all do not see eye to eye and you being such a strong sign Aries man that you are okay you could be making it really hard for her to actually look at you adoringly and lovingly in your eyes because you're not being understanding of what it is that she's talking about okay even though you staring her down intensely all right she still could feel like oh I love me some him but he's not he's not getting it and meanwhile, you over here just like, oh, yeah, she's fine. She's gorgeous. Or, you know, I love me some her and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. You could be making plans and everything and missing that she not totally feeling OK. OK, so pay attention to that, guys. Um, That could be what pay attention to the red flags are to my men, Aries. You could be missing body language on your woman that she's not totally content in the union that there's something missing for her and you're so enthralled and encapsulated by her beauty and the passion that you two guys have for one another but you're missing the fact that she's not totally as happy as i think that she wants to be or could be with you and i feel like it got something to do with y'all listening i was that's all i gotta say also the next card that did fly out was children and it said that your love life is being affected by children Okay, we're going to figure out what this is about. But like I said, I feel like somebody pregnant or somebody could actually have children. This could be a blended union or, you know, uh, or whatever. Like, yeah, it could be y'all could have all both had kids and be coming together and be trying to bring the kids and everybody together. Or um, your children could be uh, keeping you from making a, a, a full-on commitment. I don't know. We're going to figure this out. We got to clarify. So, a so and so is so. So, Heavenly Father, I want to go to the energy cards. This is not the energy cards. This is the Zodiac one. So, let's go to the energies about the children. And, Heavenly Father, can you please give us some insight about this card? Please give us some insight on the energy that is 
that's affecting us with this children card, okay? And we're also going to clarify this card with, um, we're also going to clarify this card with the tarot as well. Most High, give us one more card to clarify what's going on with this children card. It says your love life is being affected by children. So we've got our two clarifiers for that. Most High, please, uh, well, dang, I can't even, I need another one. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, Most High, please give us some more clarity on the children card. <laughs> okay, I'm just about to leave that alone because I'm just about to leave it alone. Oh, duh. Okay, let's clarify the gift. Father, what is it that's affecting this partnership with the give your relationship a chance card? What is it that they need to work on as far as working on your partnership? What is a factor with this card? Okay, let's get another. What is some factors here? Okay. I don't appreciate this, but whatever. We're going to take it. Okay. And let's clarify this engagement card. What's going on here? <laughs> All right. Father, help us to clarify the engagement card as well. I'm done. I ain't got time to play with this, people. Okay. Okay, so uh, I don't know if this is the truth because this has been... Okay, so anyway, this is... Supposedly, the overall energy of the deck that's clarifying right now is the Five of Wands, which is minor disagreements, some competition, some imitation, like as far as play fighting and stuff like that, because that's what the kids are doing on the uh, card. Um, I feel that this more so with a relationship just kind of deals with quarreling and kind of fighting and arguing. Uh, just minor disagreements and disputes that y'all have, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with, we're going to start with the clarification cards for engagement. The cards that I got here were the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Emperor card. So first of all, first of all, I just want to say that I feel like this is the male's energy, okay, in this relationship. I feel that this is the masculine energy. He is... He he think it's some I mean he think it's some bad thoughts like goddamn Okay first let's go get this let's go get my notes first of all Let's go to the sword suits Swords So the nine of swords in reverse is talking about imprisonment it's talking about doubt or suspicion reasonable fear or shame All right, so here we go. I heard fear of losing control. And boom, I feel that that just clarified this. I don't freaking know why the heck this would be clarifying your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment right now. But I don't know, like... Somebody could be fearing losing control. And I just say that because the emperor energy is a person who tends to be just kind of wise, intelligent, in control. Let's go get the emperor energy because I'm really, my head is hurting right now. I need the help. The emperor, yeah, is that a, he provides structure, stability, rules, and power. He can be fiery and cold. He has very strong convictions. 
uh, he tends to be, he's reasonable. He can think things through, okay? Um, okay, so for some of you guys, all right. This person, this older man, because I do feel like it's an older man. There's an older man here who could be trying to offer you some structure, okay? Offer you some stability, but it don't come without, obviously, his rules, okay? And him exerting his power. <laughs> That's what I got to say on that. Um, and so, even though I said this could have been a masculine energy, truth is, this could be the woman's energy, too. Maybe, you know, he didn't ask you, but you concerned that you're going to lose control of yourself. You know, I don't know, y'all. You know, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I think I want to pull another card, though. I'm not feeling. But, yeah, somebody is, you know, somebody is really concerned about feeling in bondage or something with this energy. Okay, I don't know. I don't know about how I feel about that. It did show itself. It did show itself, so I'm going to say what it was, but I think I might put it back up because I feel like it's just too soon. We just had this in another Aries reading. But the judgment card came up. Judgment card can deal with rebirth of some sort, a new phase, or even a change in position. Now, with the engagement, I feel like I'm going to have to go ahead and throw it down because I just see, I feel like I can see how it could be playing a part here. Um, with this coming up, and clarifying engagement. Remember, engagement is talking about your your love life is moving on up to a higher level of commitment. With the judgment card coming out here, I kind of, um it could it could do that. It can mean a change in position or a change in status. So that's why I went ahead and threw it out here. Um, again, Aries, whoever you may be, masculine or feminine, this could be your energy. Okay. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with energy. Something is, something is going to happen concerning you that's going to lead to this you being like promoted in your relationship. Okay. So needless to say, that could be a, some of y'all could be in third party situations or just, and even if it ain't really third. I say third party just by saying it could be three of y'all involved in the situation, okay? Um, it could be another woman, okay? Okay, since it's a man here, I feel like this shame energy, this here being in your thoughts and feeling imprisoned and all of that, it could be the woman in this situation. Like the person, this woman that loves you, she feels like she's bound because she want to be here with you, but she don't want this other situation going on. But... You know, with the emperor being who he is, you know, him being the one providing the structure, the stability, and being in power, he could just be still putting her there. But guess what's about to happen? Something is going to be revealed that's going to lead. Somebody going to be moving on up to the east side. So I'm going to shut up with that. Moving on to clarify the Give Your Relationship a Chance card, we got the three cards of King of Swords. In reverse, by the way. The High Priestess in reverse. And we also got other King of Cups. So I feel what I feel, <laughs> and I'm just playing, but what I feel is that this is a continuation of the same situation. And I'm going to say that because you move on up. Okay. You're moving up. This is what's coming. You're moving up. You want to be in a position where you come first. This, if this is a female, I feel like this resi this is uh, resonating with my style, okay? Oh, let me just go ahead and say this real quick because I thought about it, but I don't think I said it. The emperor energy is definitely Aryan energy. So, congratulations, Aries. You have showed up on the table. Okay, but anyway, move on. I feel like because of this situation that you got one of these sisters in, okay, one of them is so unhappy and not okay. And they're feeling shame and they're feeling like they're in bondage somehow. And um, what else did they say that the nine of swords, I mean, yeah, that the nine of swords deals with? Let's go back. Yeah, 
they have all this doubt about maybe even what, what role they play in their life. Um, they are fearful because of the fact that, okay, we got two different, you got two different choices going on here. They could be wondering where they play a part at. Also, um, they could just be ashamed because maybe it wasn't something that they wanted. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, that could be what's causing them to even think about just this unhappiness, this space of unhappiness of something not being the way that they fully needed to be. Even though they adore you as well, Aryan man, and you adore your woman. It's this, this other situation that's going on is why the head can't be turned totally to you because, bruh, like you, you putting this person through it emotionally, whether you know it or not, you're putting them through it. Anyway, so here we go. Let's talk about these cards here that's clarifying this. Thankfully, we are already in the swords too. So let's just go on back up. And let's go to the King of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse deals with cruelty. Some form of evil intentions, perversity, or breach of faith. I feel like this could be the way that your lady is looking at you. Aries. Again, the King of Swords energy can be Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This could be anywhere in your sign, in your chart, okay? Uh, 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 sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury, okay? Predominantly. The next card that came up was the High Priestess in reverse, which I feel like this is your woman's energy, okay? First of all, let's just talk about the fact that this is a man and woman right here. So I definitely feel like this is a relationship, even though we don't need to guess. It is a relationship because it's a relationship reading. Duh, Jude. But no, seriously, I definitely feel like this probably is more so about the woman that you are to be with. Okay. This is the 144,000 union. All right. And this is what I'm going to say about this. With the high priestess being in reverse, I feel like she has gone... Okay, let me not say that. I know one thing that I can recall vividly off the top of my head right now is that the high priestess in reverse tends to deal with a person who is really trying to use like their moral compass to keep fighting for something, to keep putting in energy towards something. Okay, so this could that's why I said this could really be your woman's energy like. Your woman may know some stuff is really off, okay? She might feel it intuitively that something ain't completely right, that this whole situation is not totally right for her or maybe even for you or just for the both of you guys. But yet, it's like she's got this tenacity. Not because, You know, it's more so because, yes, she loves you, but it's also because of her own moral aptitude. Like, she's holding on. Even at her own, you know, to her own somewhat detriment, like she's not totally being fulfilled here, which to me totally confirms what I was talking about here in this car with how she's kind of looking off. She love you, got her arms around your neck darn tight and love that you holding on to her. But in her eyes, even though you can't really see them. I interpret that there's still a certain kind of sadness there. Even though for some people, they might see, uh-uh, this woman is totally content. She's totally at peace. But I don't feel that. And with the high priestess in reverse, I feel that that confirms that. So let's go to the high priestess. So the high priestess can back me up here. So the high priestess in reverse deals with passion. Like I just said, this woman... Feel strongly for you. She's passionate about you. But yeah, like I said, um, moral or this also deals with moral or physical energy for a cause or for an end result. I feel like this woman is aware that you are part of her twin flame union. Okay. Twin flames is only two flames. It's only two. There is no third parties. The 144,000, I do believe is only Two people. I don't believe that there's a third upon it, okay? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to tell you, all right? But that's just my personal opinion. It's not Bible. It's just my personal opinion. But I feel as though this woman know that something is not right about this union, um, okay? And that's why she's not totally there. 
but she's still trying to hold on because the end result she believes is going to be that you two will eventually be together and become the unit and power couple that you're supposed to be. So I'm going to be quiet. The last and final card that came out clarifying this was the King of Cups. That makes uh, me happy because what I feel, okay, is that this is also your energy, Aries, man. You could have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart, okay? But this could be any male here, all right, with the yellow and the red there and all that. That makes me still think of fire and sign energy. And then we've also got some air, okay? We got everybody here. We got a little earth back there with that little piece of house, okay, that we can see. So, it's a man offering something. And I feel that this is more so definitely an offering of a relationship, okay? But let's see what, oh boy, let's see what King of Cups deals with. Let's let's see what King of Cups deals with. Here we go. So it's a lot of stuff going on here. So let's just talk about some of the things. Uh, somebody could be keeping some feelings that are very deep, secret, okay, or repression. Like uh, maybe you don't know how to express your feelings, bruh. And it's like all deep up in there, right? And on the outside, you all calm, cool, and collected and shit. But on the inside, you are so in love, maybe. You are so like, oh, like really feeling this woman. To the point to where you could be really kind of concerned, like, you know what I'm saying? You could be kind of concerned how deep your feelings are for this woman. That would that could be the reason that you kind of keep them to yourself. Repression. Repression to me means to conceal. It means to, mm -mm, we're going we gonna to reel this back in. We're going to keep this up in here, okay? So that's how some of you Aries could be acting. This could be uh, masculine or feminine energy, but I definitely feel like this is a male's energy, a man. OK, it could also deal with alcohol, alcoholism or possibly some other type of vices. OK, a vice is something that kind of helps you cope with other things. So a vice could even be that like I'm going to talk about y'all Aries because listen, I got a man that's the Aries man. OK, and he got Pisces in his chart. So I know that what I'm about to say could be the truth. OK, and I feel the need to say this because it could resonate with somebody else who watched this video. One of y'all vices could be simply that you go off and you work real hard, okay? And sometimes when y'all need to discuss things or you need to talk about some stuff, instead of you sitting down discussing your feelings or whatever, you might run away from those things. Uh, You might go work instead. Some of y'all, okay, if you're angry, you could go walk away and go say, oh, I'm going to work or whatever. You could just try to get away from the situation. Others of you, you could not know really, you could not feel comfortable with discussing and expressing your feelings. So you might have a tendency, right, to just joke or something and bust out in little crazy ass jokes that don't got nothing to do with what y'all talking about or you could make light of the situation okay so that to me is a vice okay it's some type of possibly destructive behavior or negative behavior but this person is also or can also be emotionally nurturing very intuitive sensitive a responsible person a fair person and offering something that you want, need, or both. So, uh, I'm just saying, I feel like this is more so going along with the, this person is going to come back. And at the end of it all, they're going to be offering you something that you want. So, I do feel like they're going to be offering you the partnership, lady or man. But I haven't, really been, I, this is a lady to me. They're going to be offering you the relationship that you've been longing for. Okay, moving forward, we had to clarify children. The first cards, we did use energy cards, and the first card that came out was fire and moon. So let me get back. Let's talk about, oh, let's see what fire represents. All right, so it says, here we go. Powerful, focused, and intent. The energy of fire burns brightly and moves quickly. Passion, drive, the desire to create, strong and sometimes scary emotions like anger are fueled by fire. It both destroys and purifies, which seems in opposition to the desire to create. But really, it's a part of the creative process. Bring the quality of fire to a situation by taking action and doing what needs to be done. 
Being courageous by saying or doing the scary but essential thing that needs expression. Being focused and determined to see something through to the end or honoring and following your passion. So let me tell you what I just hear and what I kind of feel. I feel like somebody who pregnant, right? Like one of y'all who pregnant, it could be the Aries girl, okay, obviously. Or it could be the Aryan man's woman, okay, who also could be a fire sign as well. Oh, shoot. Like I feel like somebody, okay, I got to say this just like this. One of y'all is pregnant, okay, and your children, your children is going to be what lights your fire into you doing what not only you have to do in order to provide for them, but also moving towards your passion. I had to say that. Um, I kind of feel like it could be a somewhat bad thing because whoever this is, I feel like you could feel like you're not ready to do that. Or maybe that you don't know how, but you do. And I think that maybe you being pregnant is going to be that extra push that you needed to do it. Sometimes people just can't do stuff. I don't want to say that they can't do it for themselves, but whatever mind states that they are in at the time, it just, it seemed hard for them to do it for themselves. But if they have a baby um, or if they have someone else that's looking to them, I don't know why that is. Don't ask me. But it could, you know, that could be what it just something that comes snaps in them and it helps them move forward. So I don't know which one of y'all that could be for, but it's for somebody. OK, somebody. That's what I heard. Y'all, I got a headache. I'm going to have to stop after this one. I done done a couple readings today. That's probably what it is. Moon, the moon, the moon. This is dealing with maternal stuff, too. So mm -hmm, I definitely feel like somebody is going to be a mommy. Somebody about to be a mommy. And also, um, maternal issues could be affecting our relationship. That's what the moon talks about. But here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The moon shows us the regularity of cycles and teaches about the importance of change. As it moves through its cycles each month. Oh, oh excuse me. As it moves through its cycles each month. Okay. It governs emotions, instincts, and intuition as well as memory and imagination. And it says issues around maternal figures, traditions, and adaptability can also be represented, represented by the moon card. Yeah, so I feel like this is definitely about somebody pregnancy. Like, I feel like this pregnancy is going to help change you. It's going to help pu push you in the direction that you really have always been needing to go. Mm. Wow, I'm going to say congratulations. I'm going to say don't be scared. I think that this could be for the best for you. All right, the next card that came out to clarify this children card was the Six of Cups. So, let's see. I'm glad it was still in the cups. So, I ain't have to go too far. The Six of Cups, I just I talked about past memories. Maybe this pregnancy could bring up memories for you. Father, help me. Memories about your own childhood, guys. Okay, and for some of y'all who may not be pregnant, um, your past memories about your childhood could be affecting your love life, your childhood, the way you were as a child, things that you had to deal with as a child, okay? But I definitely know somebody pregnant because this affected, this is not the affected as in cause and effect or like a result of something. This is affected as in like your life, your love life is going to be totally changed due to children being a factor okay so i definitely definitely strongly feel like somebody is pregnant 
Let's do one more card. Most time. Most time. Just let's do one more card. Most time, please. Can, okay, I can't even. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to say everything. But okay, okay. I ain't feel that, so I'm putting it back in the deck, Father. And I need you to go ahead and help us to clarify the children card here. I ask for one more. One more, and I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let all y'all go. Just one more card, Heavenly Father, please. I think this is it, y'all. These is the winners here because I feel like these are confirming some things. That, okay, so moving forward, the first card that came out to continue the clarification of the children was the Four of Wands, okay? This is a family life that you always consider to be your ideal. This is what you consider to be perfect. This is what you consider to be a dream come true. All right, all right. I'm not even kidding with you guys. So let me tell you, I know that this is personally resonated for my tale because first of all, it's a boy and a girl on this picture. That's number one. It's a boy and girl on this picture. Okay. Um, one does look like they could be slightly older than the other one, but they also could very well be around the same age. Somebody could be having twins, fraternal twins. That's a boy and a girl. Okay. Um, I'm just throwing that one out there. May not be the case. You just could have a boy and later on a girl. Or whatever your rendition of a perfect family or a perfect baby, marriage, family life is like. Let's get the four of ones before we move forward because we need to get this totally right, okay? The four of ones deals with celebration, a party. It deals with safety. It deals with home, country life, harmony, prosperity, peace, and the perfected work of all of those things, okay? So to me, like, this is talking about this relationship is going to bring about this type of union for you guys. And that makes sense since I said it's probably a 144,000 twin flame union. Okay. And some of the past memories that you could be thinking about, it could have been your dream as a girl for some of you guys or as God, as a boy and a girl. Okay. It could have been y'all's dream to have a family structure like this, a life like this. A, 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 a union like this one, okay? And the last and final card that came out to clarify this children was the Queen of Swords, okay? Let me go get that. I'm, I'm going to hold what I got immediately when I got this card, and I'm going to say it after we talk about what the Queen of Swords tends to deal with. Okay, excuse me, y'all. So the Queen of Swords, she is intelligent. She's probably a writer or she enjoys writing. She can be considered cold when it comes to communication and she can cut through the BS with clarity. Okay. And it don't just have to BS. It don't have to just be BS. Basically, she can see through stuff. Okay. Things that could be unclear to other people. She can see it clearly and she can make choices based upon that. Okay. And this is a beautiful thing. And I feel, let me tell you what I felt that this was clarifying. You remember how I said some one of y'all or some of y'all was pregnant and that you having this baby was really going to help you do the things that you needed to do for yourself that are necessary and towards your passion. I feel like that's what this Queen of Swords energy is confirming. OK, I really think that you becoming pregnant and stuff, it's just going to help you make decisions better with more clarity, you know, because now it's not just you. It's you and some babies. OK, or it's you and a baby and you just can't be bullshitting no more. So you couldn't get yourself together for you or maybe you just didn't have the drive to do so. But now. These children or this child is what's bringing clarity for you. That's not for everybody, but that's some of y'all's situation, okay? Um, others of you, you guys could already be a mom, and this could be the way that you come out to your babies. Like, mommy is smart, but mommy, 
Like, I feel like you just don't play with your children in a way. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but it's like, you don't let them pull stuff over on you. You know what I'm saying? Like you straight to the point <laughs> and all of that. You are definitely straight to the point. You don't really play with them. Uh, you probably do. You can. But when it comes to you telling, giving them directions or instructions, mama is a straight shooter. Okay. This also could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarian energy. And this is a woman. So that could be anywhere in your chart. All right, y'all. I'm done. Okay. Let's do these signs real quick. Let's see what signs this can most resonate with. Who needs to probably pay attention to this particular reading? And then we're going to keep it pushing. I'm going to be done with readings for today. Most High, thank you so much for this opportunity. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask that right now you would allow us to see what signs most need to pay attention. Uh, what signs could all be involved in this relationship. Or, you know, just what signs can really benefit from watching this reading that's what we're asking for we'll stop when we are led to stop let's pick these up first and throw them out on the table so we can be ready to read them when it is same thank you so much heavenly father we thank you we thank you, we thank you. i'm gonna have to pick that one up oh my word Okay, I'm thinking. There we go. I'm done, y'all. I ain't got no time for this. I'm done. Again, for anybody who might be new to my readings, just because I... Oh, this was the wrong thing. How did this one get up in there? So, I need... This was the wrong thing, too. So, I need to pull probably, like, two more cards. How did that get up in there? I mixed my cards together. Oh, no. Okay, let's fix this and let's fix this now. How did that happen though? These are my element signs. Okay, so these are all the element signs. Let's see if there's any more. Yeah. These are also, yeah, so let's put these away and put them away now. These should be, okay, so these are all the rest of them. We need two more cards, Heavenly Father, to clarify what signs really need to pay attention. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, there we go. One more card. We are good. We got the two that we needed, guys. Okay. So the cards that flew out were, of course, that's a beautiful thing. I love when it happens, but it's just to me further confirmation. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, you guys. I love you with the love of the most high. For those who watch, I do appreciate you. I really do. I really, really do. And I pray the Most High's blessings upon you. All right, guys. Without further ado, shalom.